I'm here with Alan Mackin, the National Junior Program Head Coach for Alberta. Welcome to Alberta. Thanks, Neil. Yeah, pleasure to be here. We're here at the Glencoe uh, Club today. You're traveling around to all the different clubs in Alberta, getting to know the kids, getting to know the coaches. Can you describe your role with Tennis Canada here in Alberta? Sure, so my, my role will be to start a national training program for the province of Alberta. Uh, expected rollout of that program being in the fall of this year, 2017. Uh, so we want to raise the bar of high performance tennis in this province. We want to support the club, we want to support the province. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, five years down the line, we're wanting some national champions and we want some players that are going to represent Alberta on the international stage um, and increase the bar throughout the province. That, that's the goal. And can you describe something that you've brought from your playing days yeah. into your coaching? I think uh, having been fortunate enough to train uh, abroad in continental Europe when I was younger, uh, seeing the, the quality of training in terms of the intensity and the work ethic and the competitive structure that's in place within these European countries is significant and uh, I think that that's something that's working well in Canada. Uh, of course we're looking to always improve on, on those structures and those the, the hard work and the training environment and the competitive environment but those are something that I feel that are very pivotal and associated with player development so I think that's something that are very much in the forefront of my mind as we continue to grow the high performance level across across the province here. Okay great and can you describe a little bit about your coaching philosophy? Yeah. Okay, so I, I like to, I'm a little bit more of European model, so I like to see a good athletic base, uh, good motor skills and coordination skills when the players are in the progressive uh, years, entering the progressive stages of the, the LTAD. Uh, I like to see that the well-rounded techniques being taken care of within the progressive stages, so that the players that transition from that progressive stage to full court tennis, there's really a base there to work with. I think that's very important from a high performance standpoint, that when the players are converting to the full court court stage, the green stage of the mini tennis pathway, that we are seeing some very well-rounded, technically and athletically solid players, because then they have a base to be able to implement a combination of variety of tactics to move their game to the next stage of the LTAD. Right, right. See, it's unrealistic to always want to be able to play up because when you play a tournament, you play a variety of levels. You know, you may play someone a little bit weaker earlier on in the draw. That could be classified as being a pressure match you're playing down and being expected to beat someone in a competitive environment. So I think it's important that you not only in your training environment are looking to play up, but you're also learning to play down against those players that maybe don't hit it quite a heavy ball or not putting you so much under pressure, that are presenting you with different, different tactic uh, opportunities. And I think it's important when you come to a match that, that you're able to have that capacity to retain your level to a high, a high level regardless of the opponent you're playing. Because often there's more pressure in playing someone that doesn't quite is perceived to play as high a level uh, as you do. So I think it's important to play a variety of, of levels within the training environment. Great. Yeah. And, and Alan, just welcome to uh, Alberta and, uh, and Calgary and welcome to the Glencoe Thank, Club. It's pleasure, been pleasure to be really here. great having you here. Thank you. Thanks.